Um, so what's happened from that point? They, when he when he beat Andy Burnham in that leadership mm. election, Andy Burnham very cleverly went up north. Yeah. He was like, you know what, the Labour Party is not going to be anything in Westminster for a, for long a time. very long time. I'm going to go up north, I'm going to keep my nose clean, I'm going to keep out of this chaos, and then I will come back when the time is right. What will be so interesting is to see if he does think the time is now right. With an election probably next year, I don't know whether this is going to be the right time for Andy Burnham. I mean, I don't think he'll take this on right no, now. I, I mean, and, Andy Burnham always thinks it's the time for he Andy does, Burnham yeah, to be does. leader because he's run and lost quite badly on two occasions. I like Andy Burnham. I think a lot of people like and respect him. Yeah, me too. Him. Doesn't but, sound like but it. He's, but he's not going to... hate to hear how you speak about <laughs> your friend. <laughs> but he, he's not, never going to be Prime Minister. You know, I feel a bit sorry for, for Lisa and Andy there because her or any other politician, of course people who are that far down the line want to be leader, want to be prime minister, but they can't say that. So I kind of think, you know, it's an unfortunate question for any of them because, mm. because they have their hands tied and there's nothing wrong with wanting to, to lead your country. But personally, I would go with Wes Streeting. And it's extraordinary, actually, because he's the shadow health secretary you just mentioned. Mm. Now, he's the second favourite for the bookies. He was only made in the shadow of cabinet, put in the shadow of cabinet in November, but he's had such a big impact. He's done this channel many times. And, you know, I voted for Lisa Nandy, not for Keir Starmer as a Labour Party member last time. I think we're streeting has the most charisma. 